Welcome back to another Feature Friday. We're going to go through this 3400 QB Passport. Really unique floor plan because it actually sleeps up to 14 people. But before we take a look at that, we're going to show you some stuff on the outside first. So at the very front, you have your power tongue jack. You have the new fiberglass front cap, which looks really cool. You also have front and rear stabilizer jacks, plus some pass-through storage. You even have a huge awning that stretches all the way across, so you have that extra shade if you need it. And you have an outdoor kitchen, mini fridge, which you know what that looks like. Plus you have two burner tops, so you can cook a couple things at the same time. You also have a spot for a key TV hookup. And you have your outdoor speakers. Forgot to mention that. And then at the back, you have an exterior shower. A lot of people don't know what to use that for, so you can always rinse off your sandy legs or give your dogs a bath. You have your spare tire and an access door, which we'll talk about on the inside. Okay, now that we're inside, before I forget, this actually weighs a little over 7,500 pounds, so it's really good uh, weight compared to how long it is. At the very front is our master bedroom, queen size bed with storage underneath. You do have really long end tables on both sides with outlets so you're able to charge your electronics or your sleep app machine. You also have closet lockers on both sides with storage in between. I'll show you what that looks like. You're able to hang up your clothes. And each side has opposing barn style sliding doors so you have that privacy if you need it. Coming out here, you also have extra storage space. You can use it for your kitchen or living room. And your main control panel is right here. Now we have our jackknife sofa, so you can sleep two more people here depending on size. So you have your two in the bedroom, two right here, and then directly across is your swivel TV, so you can kind of change positions of that. Some storage up there, and then you got your AC smack dab in the middle. Your Bluetooth speaker system is just below that, and then you have even more storage. Coming into your eating and kitchen area, you have your U-shaped dinette, which is my favorite. Great for board games, having a fun family dinner. You also have storage underneath both seating spots. And this also folds down into a bed so you can sleep a couple more people. Into our kitchen area, you have a big refrigerator. Right next to that, you have your three burner top stove with a glass range cover. And then you got your oven. Just above that is your microwave with an L-shaped cabinet situation we got going on. And then you have your stainless steel sink and the price of this unit comes out to be $32,875, which is a great price. You have this decorative spice cabinet, put some plants up there if you'd like. And this also extends out for extra countertop space. And now for the bathroom. So you got your sink in there with storage below it and above. Your nice shower, plenty of room to turn around in. A lot of natural light and you got your toilet before we head in there you have this extra closet storage you can use it for your bathroom towels and stuff in there my favorite part is this gigantic bunk house check this thing out there is four sets of bunks in here each bunk can actually hold up to 300 pounds so this is what i was talking about with the sleeps 14 because you can have Probably one or two people up here if you, if you have your kids here, if you have this many kids or they have a lot of friends, you know, they have a lot of places to sleep. The top bunks have the window, but the bottom bunks kind of feel like a fort, which is really cool. But they each have cubbies and lights plus um, places to charge your phones and your electronics. Across from that, you have this gigantic wardrobe um, plus your entertainment center. So it's perfect view for your kids. They can play their games there, watch movies but a lot of storage place to put their clothes. And then this access door, which is really nice. You can kind of put extra storage in there. You can place bikes right here if you'd like, but it does lock on the outside so you don't have to worry about your kids, you know, escaping. <laughs> so that is it for this passport, you guys. Let us know what you think about it. Mm -hmm.